Hello everyone, Infernox Studios here with another game to- Demons! Hello, Shade Ray Gun. Demons! Yes, yes, we get it. This is a game about demons. In other words... The, the Infernox Studios family reunion the game. Hey! You're right, it's my family reunion the game. Right, welcome to Disgaea. Also, let's turn this up. I was it Disgaea? I can't even hear it from back here. What is this guy anyways? Did he even say it in the game? Uh, no. But it's the final boss theme. Really? Yeah. Let me just check things, see if we got everything right. Uh, oh, there's the master volume. Turn everything up! But we won't be able to hear ourselves. And now we turn it down. It makes perfect sense. Okay, I'll just start up a new file because... Let's be honest, this game's gonna take a while. Hundreds of thousands of years. Born, the mighty ruler of the netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the dark land. Then everyone's like, hey, can we take his throne now? Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Known as the Horus Heresy in some circles. Continued by the age of fluffy kittens and puff bunnies. You're lying. And then the age of weirdly placed castles. Oh, come on. Who what didn't want a castle over lava? I did. And the age of the starting Prince, screen. Wake up! We're gonna start the game. Brat just won't wake up. Stupid vampires. Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. Rape him. What fool dares awaken me, the great Lahar? Prince! I'm glad you're still alive. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. I guess you could say he was sleeping stone cold. But um, Tish. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? It was a sale of Prada. Or I stole them. Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. So I shot you with a nuke. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? Well, it would have worked either way. No, uh, I, I mean, yes, I, I just wanted to wake you up. Back. Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Well, you see, it's Meatloaf Day. Oh, boy! Oh, yeah. Can I have a raise? That's no reason. Big news. Your father, King Krzyzewski, has died. And we're never gonna see him. In what? When? Well, you see... Two years ago. <laughs> Wait a second. So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yeah, man. That hot chocolate does a number on you. Quick question. Yeah. When Commander Shepard died, wasn't he technically asleep for two years? Until he was brought back? Yeah. I don't think Shepard's on the level of Laharo. I'm just pointing yep. that out there. So who's gonna put out that fire? Uh, why didn't uh, I you think that's a torch. Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? You've been trying for two years to wake him up. Yeah, but did it work now? Yeah, poke him with a stick, sneezing powder, jackhammer. The netherworld has gone to hell while you... So it's gone to itself? That's the joke. Shut up. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. Who specifically what? stole the title? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? A level one demon's title? <laughs> How bold of them! I shall show no mercy, for I am the Harl, the rightful heir to the throne! Where are you? <laughs> and so it begins. Your humble vassal, Etna, will accompany you. Vassal? A vassal of destruction, most, like most likely. Episode, Episode one of 500 one. billion. Prince of the Netherworld. It's actually 1 out of 13, I think, or 12. I gotta tell you, I like the la la la's at the beginning of each episode. I mean, I'm so used to playing this guy too, where I could just jump around willy-nilly. But at least I can run at unhuman speeds. 
Wait, you, can, you can't jump in this game? Well, yeah, I can't jump on the world map. Look at the guns. Maybe you can get a gun. I want it. Aw, uh, that one's spent. Why I, don't you take it? I don't know. It, it, can it pierce the heavens? I want it. Ours is the drill that will pierce the heavens! Hmm. I love the music in me. Ah, yes, I, knew, I uh, there's also a secret here behind this chair. I you pressed press the switch. It. You are now at the final boss. <laughs> oh. That would be troll. Oh, by the way, level 359. Ah, that's low. He's on our side, don't worry. Yeah, because I know when I go to sleep, I forget all my friends. That was 325. Man, that guy's weak. I only wanted to go to sleep for 10 days so I wouldn't, so I could miss my aunt's birthday party. Oh yeah, look, okay, hold on, where, where's the, here we are. Yeah, level 1, 37 hit points. Go up against this dragon. Let's see how that turns out for you, Laharl. Ah, uh, don't worry. He's pretty low level. True, that is kind of low level. Hello! You're right, he's lazy. He's also a chess piece. Okay, that part is not accessible yet. If you're wondering why he's talking to everyone, you randomly sometimes get items if you talk to people. Yeah, you're, the Shade Ray Gun's right on this. Also, see this thing here? You can actually talk to it. Long Longinus! <laughs> Thing is, I didn't actually know you could speak to this thing till one day. I just wondered why is this thing animated in a dark corner. So yeah, a quick weapon tutorial. By the way, do you know what the spear of Longinus is? Something that pierced the side of Jesus. Yep, a Roman guard stabbed Jesus in the side after he was crucified to make sure he was dead. And then Longinus became a priest for some reason because stabbing Jesus made him holy. Or was that made him horny? I forget. Hopefully you guys can read the text. I don't think they care enough. I don't think you should go through all the weapons. Yeah, well, people who may want to play this game may want to just learn and well, see. people things. who want to play this game can talk to the spear themselves. Well, why don't we ask the spear about spears? Spear, 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 spear. Let's be honest here, Spearo. No, Fearo. Well, true, but we're talking about spears here. Shut up. So now we have to talk about how an axe has to grind. Personally, axes are probably my favorite weapon in the game. I'm gonna be completely honest here. I'm horrible at explaining the weapons in this game. It's like, seriously, it's like, That's punch the... things, stab things, stab things from farther away, super stab things. Shoot people with bow and it, with an arrows. Shoot people with bullets. Cause, you know, why won't you pick oh, look! Now you have to memorize math in order to figure out your damage! The thing is, with bows, in this game itself, bows are pretty much like weaker guns, unless you're trying to inflict status ailments. It changes in the second game, so that guns have, like, their own little shtick. And actually, in this guy uh, two, when you can make your own characters... You, you can make your own characters in this game, too. Oh. Which one is the one where you use me as a gunslinger? This game? Oh, okay. Yeah, he made his own character base and named after me, and I was a gunslinger. We can get to that later. That's part of the tutorial. You hear that, people? I'm a cowboy. On a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted. Dead or alive. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, I'm already in Netherworld, so killing me wouldn't do much. Okay, we've, we're done talking to the spear. Let's go talk to the rest of the people. I don't think anyone cared about what that spear said. Well, still, there might be someone that needs, like, that information. Okay. Thank you for telling that. You say that to everyone who walks in here. Thank you. I pressed both switches. What does that do? You'll see soon. Okay, and that's the only time we're speaking to Alice. Goodbye, Alice. Forever stay in the corner. Hello, Planair. Oh, I want to talk to the Assembly. Why do you have to talk to Alice, Evan? Because that's literally all Alice had to say. You should talk to her at the end of the game. Okay. Why does everyone have a minus 50 resistance to fire? 
because no one likes fire. Wait, if they have a minus 50 resistance to fire, then why are they around in a castle surrounded by lava? Well, clearly the castle isn't actually on fire. Yeah, the point, the point of the hospital here, you have enough money, heal your people, and then if you get yourself beaten up a lot, you can get money, prizes, stuff. Yay. Diamonds! So... So wait, is this zombie just a freeloader? Yes. He's not a zombie, he's a zombie. Oh man, I can't enter the gateway. Hey, that was Cosmos. Okay, now let's we'll talk to the people with the weapon shop. I mean, just, we gotta get this out of the way now. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Double slap? Are you supposed to get a sword for the Harl and, like, a spear for Etna? Wait, hold on. He already has a common sword. I can't even use a crab pincer on him. What am I doing? Um, short sword. Which is somehow better than a common sword, which is weird. Um, hmm. I don't really think I should buy anything right now, because I mean, I just started, but Knight's Lance? Wait, 23, 20... Beats out Atmosphere. I don't get it, why does it go down? Because it's like, I have replaced this. Oh, it's probably the specialists. I get, I get, oh, I have gum. Delicious. Delicious, delicious gum. Yeah, specialists. Basically, you can uh, put people that live inside the item, and they increase specific parts of the item, like population, hit points, special powers, attack, defense, intelligence, speed, hit resistance, and any other bonuses. Cheapest beer ever. Blech. It applies to pretty much anything. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I just see the description. Nice. Check out this. Go buy something better. Well, you better do what it says. I don't have really enough money. You better I'd go do is just sell your sword. You have enough for another sword. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry about that. Stop doing that. Circle leaves. I should also point out, you see how the Harl's weapon mastery, like, A's for the first four, and the axes and A, C's and B's for staff and gun, or whatever? It re that means, like, if I give him a sword, he'll rise quickly with that sword. If I give him a gun, he won't rise that quickly. And with Etna, it's the same thing. Give her a gun, she won't rise that quickly. Give her a spear, she'll rise pretty fast. Also, if you quit, equip Etna to Laharo, he won't rise that quickly. <laughs> well. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, no, wait, he will. It's if you equip hot women to him. No, that doesn't work like that. That honestly doesn't work. It makes perfect sense, and you'll find out later why. Can I get a protector? Baseball equipment. Bulletproof vest. Not so, that helpful, actually. Can I equip the most expensive? Can stop bullets. Watch for headshots. Hmm. I might actually buy a bulletproof vest. Let me see. This the the more expensive ones are usually the ones that have good things. Yeah, buy a bulletproof vest. No dip. Oh. Wait, his name's Jesus. Jesus! Hey, hey, his name is Jesus. Oh, I, I didn't mention this though. You see how there's an experience bar at the uh, the shopping center? Uh huh. Apparently, if you buy stuff, you get to get your uh, product rank up, I think. And then you have to go to the Dark Assembly to get your customer rank up. Something like that. And you get stuff for cheaper? Uh, it's either you get stuff for- no, you have to do something else about that, but you can, uh, get more expensive and helpful stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you, you can only save here on the world map. Might as well do that now. Oh, and just for the record, yes, I have played 167 hours of this. He's level 4,348. And... That's not even the highest level. Don't worry, we're not going to be, like, spending 167 hours in this game. We're spending 168 hours. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, most of it will be level grinding. They see me grinding. They hate me. No, but I'm only going to go through this one to the final... Er, Saves to... over previous save. <laughs> I would hate that so much, but I'm only playing um, this one up until we beat the final boss, and then I'll show you everything else that happens with the game through here. 
Because really, I'm just showing you how to get through the game if you were starting off from scratch, and then all the bonus material I'll handle later. Hey, she doesn't have a minus weakness to fire. Oh, she didn't? She doesn't. She has a zero resistance to fire. Well, that's just basic resistance, then. Battle basics! I should also... Yes, Marie. I should let you know, whenever you enter the tutorial mode, this is, like, yeah, the only time you'll see this cutscene. a little warm -up. I feel a little rusty. A prince, we've got company. How convenient. See, the, this is the only time you'll ever see this cutscene, because it only appears when you do a, a new game, not a new game plus. Allow me, prince. You may be a little out of practice. After your long slumber. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, level pretty one squad. abilities. Introducing. Get your foot down here now. Penguins. Not only penguins, explosive penguins. So, Prince, what do you think of this pretty squad I hired? They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. No way, dude. <laughs> dude. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I forgot how this goes. Okay, well listen. See? They're loyal. Yeah. And that's how Commander Shepard died in the Omega-4 Relay. Exactly. Does it make sense to beat up your allies before a battle? Yes. No. Anyway, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. We just want to kill you. Hey, you're right. How nice of them to be so patient. I bet they probably think this is a circus act. Yeah, that's considerate of them. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. Aren't those ghosts? Oh, yes. You're so kind. You're gonna beat them to death. If I were you, I'd have beat them all the way to death. C kind Stop that! That word gives me goosebumps! Kind, kind, kind! Damn it! I take it back! I'm gonna beat them all the way to death! Nice job breaking it, Shade Ray Gun. Kind! He's still a kid. So quick tempered. It looks like you're all a kids! Lot you all look seven! So, uh, what are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? Cutscenes! And now to explain how fighting goes. Ah! No, this is actually useful, because it's like, place the, place the cursor over the shiny blue square, press X, and then send people out to beat up other people. Beast of He has a minus resistance to win. You just press circle on them and then they leave. Or you can just move them around with X and stuff. Laurel, he's a demon prince. Wait, no. Etna, this is a bad idea. Yeah, there's a difference between execute and end turn. Execute, you just do the attack. End turn, the entire turn ends, and any actions you have set up just happens. End turn. And now I am dead. That was stupid. <laughs> you have to do this because no one likes you. See, Etna shows you what not to do in this game. Give money to the hospital and they revive dead people. Most of the money is called hell. So you only have ten characters and everything, like you can use on a map at one given time, so be careful how to use your people. Tutorials! Hey, this is a useful tutorial. What does 5DM mean? 5DM? I think that means, like, height, possibly? Um, uh, let me see. 
by the, um, yeah, it's height. Distance, I, distance meters? I don't know. Decameters? Christoph Vazquez and Zizakuzian. I would use Christoph. Zizakuzian! <laughs> Zizakuzian! He's a private printing. Oh my god, is, uh, what kind of nationality is that name? Czechoslovakian. <laughs> Okay, uh, he was a Czechoslovakian conscript then, who died in the Cold War and came here, and he committed Idiot. war crimes. Czechoslovakians don't use conscripts. Fine, but whatever it ha is, he was a bad person. Oh man, I'm sorry, I got distracted with now, that. Now, let's ignore what Etna said and do the exact same thing she had us do. Actually, I have a better idea. You attack these guys from the front, you do regular damage. Sides do a bit more. If you attack from the back, though, you also get a lot of damage. I can't do specials. What you're saying is they have a weak rear armor. Yes. And the best part, also, is that I could probably initiate a team attack with Etna there. Kristoff! The penguins can go in. They still can't do their special, so that's disappointing. Why don't you just attack with them? Okay, so you're uh, attacking. You forgot to attack with Kristoff. Oh no, I ha I just wanted to set them up. I wanted to see how I'm gonna do this. I think I'll attack like that. Hmm. I believe Laharl's strong, so I'll have attack here. Etna will help out by stabbing her with this guy with the spear. And she might be able to team attack with this guy in the back. So let's see how this works. Team attack with this guy in the back. Oh wow, that was ineffective. Thanks for telling us about team attacks, Edna. They certainly helped. Completely. Kuzin! Kuzin! Um, okay, I think I'll just go around the w after the one that has more health. It is side armor! Seven damage. Victory. Okay, that's all I can do. Their turn. Yes, go after the prinnies. The prinnies are your biggest nightmare right now. Let's see how I can set this up. I can send you here. I can send you here. I can send you here. And you here. Okay, hopefully now we can get team attack since this is at 60%. That's actually pretty decent. One damage. Oh, hey. Zaka Zuzan leveled up. Here's also a little trick I learned. Move him back now. The team attack has already been underway, but you can also use these guys to do whatever you want now. Cheetor! Exactly. So let's move these guys around here. And you attack. Pretty dude! Penguins gotta stick together. Pretty dude. I got $36 and 7 experience. But you didn't kill 36 guys! Now, the dollars are just dependent on uh, what level. Hmm. Toss them. Ah, the second aspect of the game. This one's kind of difficult to understand, so I, I think I might need to explain it a bit. You pick people up, and you throw them. Yeah, you can't attack anyone? Only one thing to do, get a human, because demons can't, um, like, monster characters can't do it. And then, just select the lift function on the options. And now you can attack. Again, humanoids can only lift and throw, but they can lift monsters. But be careful with prinnies. I should probably show an example of what happens when you lift a prinny. Then you're not supposed to kill any of your allies to get the good ending or something. Yeah, don't kill anyone to get the good ending. I don't think prinnies count, though. Are you sure? <laughs> I, I'm not sure, but yeah, prinnies explode. Throw an enemy at an enemy. 
Oh yeah, but make sure at least throw someone at the end of the turn unless it's part of a gambit where you didn't want anyone else to get hurt, because then they can't move. The enemy, that is. Alright, now, now that we've figured out what to do, let's completely ignore her advice. Throwing is for weaklings. Yeah. Wow, direct hit. Hmm. He hit Roxanne. Form a defensive wall. No, just get them to come over here. Come at us, bros. Yeah. Stab right in the face. I'm on a rocky hill. What are you gonna do about it? Penguins. Kristoff. Oh, whoop, too far. And other penguin. Zizak Zuken! I can't pronounce this right. Zizak Zuken! Shoyuken! Zuken! Wow, all that two damage really did something. I know, right? It's pretty sweet. Die! Wow, all that one damage really did something. I know, right? Etna, dude. I really am used to using specials. They so crazy. Hmm. Oh wait, I can just do Private Prinny. Attack! In all honesty, if I had known this was gonna happen, I should have connected all the attacks. However, considering that once you connect attacks and dedicate them, you can't take them back if they don't attack in this game. It's kinda cheap, I know, but that's what happens. Like, if I dedicate this guy to attack him and Lahara to attack, but this guy kills him, then Lahara won't be able to attack anyone else, despite the fact that he didn't actually attack. You should do an orbital bombardment. I don't have that ability for Etna yet. <laughs> I see what you did there. What? You don't have that ability yet. Well, of course, because it's an actual ability. Ready, dude. What? <laughs> Well, you know, Vasquez did kill him. Good job, Vasquez. Vasquez! You're so, 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 so Do you even know what you're saying at this point? Yes! Come on, why can't you move? Because, you already did something. That's weird. I didn't think I moved him yet. He opened the team attack, didn't he? No. But, well, if he did, he shouldn't... He should be able to move. Because I, I, I didn't tell him to attack yet, did I? Uh, oh, I can use one of the Hall specials! Murder! Wait. That one says Wesker. Wesker! Kill it! Dude. Use Blade Rush! Here I come. It would normally attack three enemies, but there's only one there. Oh, and see? Look, Etna can't attack now, despite the fact she did attack. That's what I was getting at. Yay. It's not yay, that's terrible. Nay! Dude, Etna's gonna die, and those pretties gonna be happy about it. We'll see about that. Counter killed. I don't think they can counter. Uh, no, they have literally no counters. Most of these strategies don't matter at all later on in the game. Yeah, to be honest, strategy is important for the first couple of levels. <coughs> Excuse me. And then later it's just all specials all the time. Yeah, later it just becomes crazy special attacks whenever <laughs> nothing else works. Don't worry, we're almost done with the tutorial. Dude, Geo effects. Geo panels. It's essentially the part of the strategy in this game. Geocache. So, blue triangle on blue means blue triangle gives blue ability. Red equals bad. No, red can be good depending on what geo effect. Red equals are. bad. No, it isn't. Red equals bad. Stop defying me. Blue is good color. Red is bad color. Blue is boosting the enemy by 50% of their stats. Exactly. So you're going to have to get rid of it. Dead. What are you looking for, Etna? You mean the triangle, yes. No, that's clearly a pyramid. 
So yeah, if you throw the blue on the red one, then the red ones will boost them by 50%. Would boost yours instead of the enemies? No, it's only enemy boost 50%. It's not going to boost you. Eh, Demon Prince. Ten. Oh, should I also mention that several characters have different amounts of power for their lifting and throwing capabilities? No, you shouldn't. Yeah, you can also destroy these panels, too. Just our toilets! But be careful when you destroy different colored geo symbols on different colored panels. The end result? If you destroy a blue on red, you turn all the red ones blue, and you injure everyone that's on the red, if that makes sense. It doesn't. Yeah, if you destroy a same color on a same color panel, no damage will be dealt, but no panels will change color. I think they can read. Oh, I'm just explaining it in case I'm going too fast. You're going too slow. Geo effects are complicated, but it gets easier if you just watch. Nullifying is for experts. You're not an expert. Watch us. Plus, there's no null on here, I think. You should null yourself. Can't you also pick up Geo? Oh, there's a null. However, it won't work because... You have yellow here on the red, blowing up yellow on red turns all red yellow, but then blue on red turns all red blue, and then- Shut wait. up! Holy crap, wait, no, I think we can actually make this work. Okay, if I can just... Um, you're on experience in HL plus 50%. Well, I was gonna get screwed here. here I come! If I destroy <laughs> this... So this makes all the reds yellow. And now all the yellows become blue due to the chain reaction. And everyone's dead except that. Oh no wait, we didn't hit the null, because the null wasn't effective for some reason. Oh hey, Edna gets a special! Oh wait, I can't use it right now. Oh wow, that was effective. Well, it's highly effective. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would you hit a bull in its eye? That doesn't seem smart. Destroy the geo symbol. Didn't work. I think the thing has too much health. Well, I think it's just being a jerk. You're a jerk! Uh, Whoa, critical hit. And you killed Etna. Etna, no. Prinnies, go. Pissed off. Prinnies, go free. <laughs> wow. How did you miss it that many times? And now, with all the blue nulled, this gets rid of all the geo symbols on the map, effectively turning it into a bland map. You're bland. Was I insulting you? Orbital bombardments. Yeah, that also causes damage to enemies, too. Okay, let's skip that. Common bow. Yeah, now we go get to create characters now. Shade Raygun, the ultimate destroyer of everything. No, you are not. Yes, I am. No, you are not. You're right, I'm the final boss that you never face, and it kills you instantly if you even stare at him. Yeah, thanks, Yarn Philip. Nahal Fotep is how it's pronounced. Whatever. And I'll have you know, I'm not that poser. I'm Yog Sagoth. Great, the brown note has been struck. Oh, I can move again. So yeah, let's summon the- Oh yeah, it is dead. We should fix that. Hey, my friend is dead! Can you fix this? No. Sure! <coughs> Quiet, don't tell them no, then they won't pay us money. We replaced your friend with a clone. I mean- Yeah, you know, that's what they do in Pokemon Centers, right? They just burn your old Pokemon and replace them with the catch ones. Wow, I do not have- I'm usually used to having holy crap amounts of mana. Ma mana. 
I don't care, but you can bring, you can, who cares? Mana. Yeah, I'm not selecting good for nothing. I'll be fine with incompetent, but never good for nothing. Because you lose power. Yeah, it's gonna <coughs> wait. For now, I should hold off on creating people. Uh, yes, I've gone to the hospital. Yay, I got money, thanks. No, I'm gonna I... spend on weapons. Yeah, I got my money to heal people. I'm gonna spend it all on candy. Ha! <laughs> what candy? Prince, I'm going to the bathroom, okay? Ah, there it is. I had to hit the switches first before I could access this. The Secret Diaries of Etna. Oh, her secret chamber, eh? You see, this part of the castle is Castle Oblivion, where she steals her seals her memories away. Oblivion! And you'll never figure out what her memory is until later. Oblivion! Oh yeah, I forgot I can't, like, jump. Okay, so my gimmick for this Let's Play is I'm gonna try and figure out which Chaos God each demon character belongs to. I don't believe they belong to any. The Harrow is clearly a Cornate demon. Vyre's Castle. I mean, I can see that, don't you? Possibly. Harrow being Cornate. He likes violence. Violence indeed. Okay then, next episode. Magnificent! Ep next episode, we storm Vyre's Castle and begin the actual plot of the game now that the tutorial is out of the way. Yay. So yeah, next episode you actually get to see fighting. Woo. Anything else you'd like to add, Shade Ray Gun? Interrupting Walrus. Okay, now we're done.